Next in our list of top 10 fighting ships. A battleship class that fought in two world wars. Was everywhere in every battle and still came through as the winner. Queen Elizabeth class. Battleship. Displacement. 36,450 tons. Propulsion. Quadruple screw steam turbines producing 80,000 horsepower. Speed, 23 knots. Range, 4,500 nautical miles at 10 knots. Protection, maximum armor, 13 inches. Principal armament, 8 15-inch guns. Crew, 1,190. Launched in 1913, the Queen Elizabeth battleship was the first of a new design of fast battleships that were powered by oil rather than coal. By early 1916, she was joined by her four sister ships, Barham, Malaya, Valiant, and Warspite, armed with eight 16-inch main guns and 16 6-inch secondary. The Queen Elizabeth class were the most powerful British class warships in World War I. I think in looking back at the World War I dreadnoughts, by nature of being at the end of that line of development, it represents the zenith of that design, certainly within the Royal Navy. During the 1930s, the ships were modernized. Now with only one smokestack, they were fitted with anti-aircraft capability and their main guns upgraded to fire a 1,900-pound shell over 32,000 yards. The Queen Elizabeths were ready when the Second World War began with Germany. Queen Elizabeth class allowed there to be still ships in the beginning of the Second World War that, that were, were big, they were slow, but they were big and formidable. They had a fear factor. They kept the Germans in port. As World War II increased in ferocity, it seemed that the Queen Elizabeth class in general, and the war spite in particular, were everywhere. There's a movie made several years ago, Forrest Gump, and he has this way of turning up in every major event. And the war spite seems to have a, a similar knack for turning up at major events. During the Battle of Cape Matapan in the Mediterranean Sea, the war spite made history when she recorded the longest ever hit by a moving gun platform on an enemy warship at 25,000 yards. But the Queen Elizabeth class were not invincible. In November 1941, the Barham became the subject of one of the most famous pieces of combat footage when she was torpedoed by the German U-boat U-331. More than 800 of her crew were killed. By war's end, all four remaining Queen Elizabeth class battleships were still fighting, still keeping the tradition of the battleship. But perhaps it was the war spite that had taken the honors as the best. The war spite was just everywhere. So she, they got their, the taxpayers got their, their you know, money's worth. War spite was one of the Royal Navy's most successful warships and the Queen Elizabeth class were some of the toughest battleships ever built. So our Matrix scores them high for protection rating, as does their fear factor. Innovation and firepower score well. Their service length of over 30 years is excellent. So the Queen Elizabeth class battleships go into third place on our top 10 fighting ships.